guys, here we are. We have Chito today and I'm so happy to have him. Thank you so much, Chito, for your time. Uh, it's an Anytime. honor to have you here. Um, and uh, I'm very excited what the German MMA community will say about your visit here at Phytology. So, Chito, um, how are you actually and where are you at the moment? I'm at home now. I uh, just came off the gym, went to get a quick lift and, you know, feeling feeling good, feeling uh ready to get back in the horse and, and do it again and do it better. Yeah, obviously I have some some questions for you regarding your last two fights, big fights. Um, for all the people who don't know you pretty well, you're still ranked in the top 10 bantamweight in the UFC. Cheetah was fighting big names like Frankie Edgar, Dominic Cruz, Figueredo, Sean O'Malley, Jose Aldo. So really big names in the UFC. And... Um, Your last fight, your last two fights, actually, um, you lost via decision. So uh, hard rounds, uh, a title fight as well. So what are your feelings about your last two fights and uh, how, how, how do you handle the losses? Uh, I mean, I think uh, when times get hard, it's just, you just got to give time to yourself to digest that and everything comes from the inside. So I just got to, you know, find out how to, how to let go and just almost like just to start again in a way and you know keep aiming for the best and keep trying because you know there's no giving up in in me in terms of like what I want in life and the things I want so you just keep going and you know get my mind right and learn from that and you know if you don't learn from those ones you will never learn so just analyze see what happens see what can be done better and go from there What is your main motivation um, when you when you have to start again when you when you're coming from a fight and you have to start again you enter fight camp what is your main motivation? Get hunger again, uh, uh, feed that fire through a lot of wood to that fire and just make the fire bigger than ever and and do it again and just do it the best you can. Is there any specific you would say? Um, You repeated in the last two fights um, and you are blaming it like for losing the fight or would you say these two fights were completely different and um, yeah, it just happened because it happened? I feel like they're really different fights in, in the style, size, uh, everything. And my title fight, I feel like it was, a, it was a good fight. It was just, you know, sometimes it's just not your diet, but... The second fight, uh, the one in Abu Dhabi, I just came back too quick. I should, I, I say at the beginning, I'm gonna wait till November to fight in New York or December, some, somewhere in Vegas, and I just got excited. And that's a problem of being in shape all the time. You think you can just do it, and you know sometimes you gotta remember that you, you're just another human being. And I was just burned. I was just burned of of everything, and too fast, too quick, and I came back and I thought I was fine, but I I just wasn't, I don't want to say I wasn't ready to come back because I was in shape and ready to fight, but I wasn't I wasn't ready to take a fight that quick. And I, I just got excited and I say, let's do it, why not? And would you say for you, especially for the for the people who are not fighting, like, Having a fight around like five round fight, a title fight, and having a fight three rounds, is there a big difference? And what is the difference? Explain it's it to the fans. Difference. It's a huge difference in terms of like the time you, you take to analyze your opponent, the difference in terms of like, you know, those two extra rounds are, are huge. So, and I like five rounds. Five, five rounds for me is great. So, I they call me for this second fight pretty much like two months later. You know, most people don't even come back more than once a year. So I just I just since I was in really good shape, I just say, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it." And looking back, I'm like, I just should have. Um, I don't regret because I'm still learning from it. But almost I just it was it was better for for my career just to stick to the initial plan, which was wait till November. So what can we expect um, the rest of the year? I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare the rest of the year and 
I want to wait for the next card in LA. So that could be January or February. That's what I want to do next. Why you want to fight in LA? I mean, just drive from my home there, kick some ass and come back. Yeah, that's a good plan, actually. That's a good plan. Yeah. So, um, Chito, obviously, we have to speak a little bit about your division. Um, bantamweight division, a lot of stuff is going on. Um, how do you see your your division at the moment? It's it's pretty tough. It's pretty deep. And every other month, there's a new fire. There's someone coming hungry. So that that that's good because that keeps, keeps me on my toes and just make me want to get better and stay as strong as I can because it just keeps getting harder and harder and I like challenges so I'm in for all of it. What is your prediction for the upcoming fight met up against Sugar Sean? Um that that that's an interesting fight because one guy is, you know, the typical wrestler that holds you down and put pressure. And on the other side, Sean is a good sniper. He he can find you. And I just don't know how much Mirab can take a punch. He's been dropped many times, so if he get caught early, he might he might go out. So, I mean, I, I think I will, I will speak for myself. I, 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 if we get a new champion, that will shake the division now, so that will create more opportunities for most of the guys, but if he retain the, the title, good for him. What can you tell us about um, fighting Sean O'Malley? What is so special about his style? And uh, yeah, he's he moves really good. When, when he he cuts angles pretty good, he moves well, and he and he's active. Um, his speed is pretty good. The speed I I had it I had it good. Like I I I, I was able to find this his speed, but the way he moves. And the way he changed uh, weapons, is he's pretty good at doing that. He makes it up pretty good. Is there a chance for another fight against against Sean? I I think it's a it's a big chance. I mean, we're one on one, so That's right. I feel I gotta get back to the win column, and that fight can happen anytime. And uh, do you think it's more likely to have this fight if Sugar Sean will lose or if he will stay champion? Um, it doesn't matter, you know. If he stays champion, I, I gotta work my way up there. And if the fight doesn't go his way, maybe that's uh, a fight we can see in the future too. So I mean, I didn't regard this. To me, it's just getting back in the win column. Yeah, Chito. So thank you so much for your time. I just wanted to to switch in, have a quick talk. I know you're pretty busy. Um, we rescheduled this interview a few times. So uh, yeah. actually, yeah, I know you're busy. But uh, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything you want to say to the German MMA community? Because obviously in Germany, we had some UFC events, but not a lot. We don't have a lot of UFC fighters, but maybe you know something about Germany and you want to tell the German MMA community something. Um, just, you know, for, for the people watching this sport and supporting us, just thank you so much. And, you know, keep, keep watching, keep supporting the fighters because that's what... Sometimes feed us so you keep getting better. At at the end, you have to say something in German. Can you? I I can try. Okay. Viele Grüße. Say it again. Viele Grüße. Viele Grüße. Nach Deutschland. Nach Deutschland. Oh, very good. So a lot of greetings to Germany. That's good. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Thank you Thank so much you. for your time and uh, I hope to see you soon in LA or wherever we will see and um, nice. we will turn in and uh, root for you, obviously.